All right, guys. So now that we have IntelliJ up and running, we can go up here to Tools, go to Kotlin, and open up the Kotlin REPL. This stands for Read Eval Print Loop. And we can basically type in something over here and Kotlin is gonna tell us right away what this evaluates to. So for example, we can type in something like three plus four. Then we're gonna have to click Control Enter and it's gonna tell us that that is seven. Similarly, we can do multiplications by typing three times five with the star symbol and that's gonna give us 15. And to do something a bit more interesting, let's try to divide seven by four. And that's gonna give us one. And that's the case because we are doing integer division. Uh, this, this is gonna to evaluate to 1.75 you would expect, but everything behind the dot is basically cut off. So it's not gonna round, it's not gonna give you two, it's just gonna cut off everything behind the dot. To get what you might have expected, you can tell Kotlin that this is not an integer, but a float point number. And you can do that by dividing 7.0 by four, press control shift, and that's gonna give you 1.75 as you would have expected. So that's something to be aware of. Next, we can also put in text between double quotes like this, and we can type in basically anything we want, like, Cuddle in rocks and press control enter and that's going to give us the value which is basically just the text we put into quotes and what we can also do is we can concatenate text so we could say something like udemy plus rocks and that's going to give us the text that is basically composed of these two individual texts also, Kotlin makes it pretty easy to get a list of something. So you can simply write list of with a capital O. And for example, we can say a list of one, two, three, four, five. Press control enter, and that's gonna give you one, two, three, four, five. You may also want to create a list which not only contains integers, but also mixed types. And that's possible in Kotlin. You can just type list of, let's say three, and the character symbol A and 3.8 and a string, string. And it's gonna to evaluate to just this list. Now next you may wonder uh, how you can store these values. I mean, that's pretty simple. You can create a variable using the var keyword, which is gonna be bolded and marked blue. And you can give it any name you want basically. So let's call it string equals and then you can put in anything you want. Let's say, Kotlin sucks. No, you don't want to do that. Let's say Kotlin rocks again. And now if you press Control Enter, it's not going to give you anything because it doesn't have a value. You just made an assignment. So if you want the value of your assignment, you're going to have to type in the name of your variable, which was string. And you will get Colin rocks. Now, similarly, let's create another variable which is gonna hold a list. So we're gonna say var to create a variable, call it list equals, and we know how to create lists in Colin. We can say list of and one, three, five, seven, nine. All right, so now how do we get our list? We're gonna type list, control enter, and it's gonna give us the value of our variable. Now we're gonna go into arrays and list later. Now what you also might wanna do is access a single element from a list. So let's say you wanna access the second element or you wanna have the seven out of the list. And you can do that by typing the name of your variable first. Then you're gonna to have to use square brackets and zero is the element at first position. So it starts with zero and not with one. And if you let it evaluate this statement, it's gonna give you a one. So that's the first element in our list. Similarly, you can ask it for the second element by typing a one inside the square brackets, and that's gonna give you five. Now, what do you think is gonna be list at position four? 
Well, it's not going to be the 7 because we're starting with 0 as our index. So this is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should be the 9. And that's the case, of course. Now we're going to talk about variables in more detail later on. But this is like kind of a playground for you. So if you want to try any statements or type in any mathematical formulas you want to try out, you can do so. Just remember to not only click enter, but control enter to really let the statement evaluate. All right, thanks and see you in the next lesson.